do you do you regret that you couldn't just sit down and sort it out, or was it just too? No, difficult? it was too difficult because we we uh, you 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 can't talk about. You have to listen what I'm going to say because that's why I'm very upset about the film Sena because you can't talk about this story that means our story when we were racing all together together without understanding what happened after I retired all the discussion we had together with Ayrton during the winter before his accident and then you if you understand that you understand why he was like this what what was his motivation and obviously he's a is a strange person. If you ask me, you know, all the names you have um, uh, said before, Mansell, Piquet, Rosberg, uh, Damon, all these guys, you know, they are all different, you know, but Ayrton is special, he's very special. So you cannot, I am very, I'd say, Cartesian, you know, uh, so it's very, very easy to, to read, you know, what I think, what I say, and uh, Ayrton is different. So you cannot, you cannot judge, you cannot sit and, and talk. You know, I have invited him once in my house in Switzerland when we were in the Geneva Motor Show. He did not talk. He did not say one word, you know. He was sleeping in, in, a, in a canopy after, after lunch. And I, I went to, to the Geneva Motor Show and I talked to the Honda guy, he was a friend of mine, and said, I, I explained to him what happened. He said, no, no, uh, don't worry. He told me that he has done that. I said, yeah, why? Because he did not want to talk to you because he does not want to become a friend. He has to fight against yourself. He doesn't want to become a friend, he doesn't want to become close. It is very difficult when you have this kind of... But you understand everything. But you understand after. You always understand after in, in life, <laughs> you know? And it's... Uh, that's why I don't regret. He was like this, I was like this. We had a different personality, different culture, different education. Uh, different way of uh, driving, different way of set up, set up the car, whatever. We were all different, but that is that is part of our success. That's why. So, so that winter before he died, when you said you had lots of conversations, do you feel? I don't know whether you're prepared to share anything that you'd spoke about, but do you feel that was when you started to understand Senna? Yeah, was that winter? Sure, because he started to talk. The, the, Did you talk about 88, 89, 90? He talked about everything to me. He was calling me, let's say, one or twice per week, and we had a long conversation. He wanted me to come back. When I tested the McLaren uh, uh, Peugeot engine, he said, oh, you should come back. I was laughing on the phone. He said, yeah, I'm going to come back and you're going to be uh, one lap ahead of me and uh, why you want me to do that? I was explaining to me all, all the things, you know. I, I, understood, uh, I understood a lot on the, on the human side, which was the most, uh, the most important. I've heard people say that you became friends. Is, yeah, is that I, true? I, I, I don't know if you can, if you can say friends, but when, when a guy like him change completely his mind. When we were on the podium in Adelaide, you know, when we were together on the first March of podium, we had pictures and then we went to the press conference. He changed completely the way he, he was with, with me. And from this day, I mean, a few days later, he called me. He was the first one to call me. And then he kept going during the winter. But we, uh, I can call that a friend because when you, when you start to talk about you, professional life, but personal life, your worries, your, your problems, what he has done during the winter before his accident. And I always said, I know something that I will never share to anybody. I never, I never talk to anybody, even person of my family, because that was a secret. So I can say, yes, in this way, he is a friend, but I never met him very often after, you know, after his, uh, his accident. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we share a lot of things. He was not very happy about his life, uh, I mean, even even at, uh, inside his team, and uh, he was worried about, uh, you know, the, the, the Benetton not being uh, uh, conformed, correct, and uh, about safety, that before he was not talking very much about safety. Uh, but yeah, he had, he had a lot of things that, 
he, he became a, a sort of a, a, not weak but a, a different person he was without you yeah because he said to me i cannot be motivated by these guys he was telling me some names i cannot be motivated by these guys and then i have a, he had a lot of uh, all the, what was his strength before was really like a sort of weakness but he was still quick still uh, good no problem about that but he was completely different yeah. do you think he enjoyed formula one or was it the whole process for him was just too intense i think the whole process was too intense because he wanted to to beat me his first motivation was i was the target i was talking to you before about the target you know in life you you when you have a target maybe the target was not the correct one but uh, you know he was for sure maybe one of the best of the world you know anyway but uh, when he lost his motivation, he lost his target, uh, he lost the goal, he, he, had, he had to find a new goal. Being another time world champion is, was not enough. That's what I felt. And he had to find a, a goal also in his private life. And uh, it, everything was confused at the time. He, wa he went from a McLaren family to a Williams environment, which is not the same, not easy, especially also for a South American guy. And uh, everything was, uh, you know, almost uh, changed his, uh, his mind and his life during, the, during one winter. Did he ever talk to you about retirement or...? Retirement? For him to retire? No, 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 we did not talk, uh, did not talk okay. about that.